have four minutes. You're gonna do all your squares and square roots that need to be memorized by now. Um, it's taking you back to chapter two. We keep going back and spiraling back that way you don't forget it. Because we learned earlier that in chapter two, we learned about exponents and square roots. And all of a sudden now in Pythagorean theorem, you need them again. So you're gonna have four minutes to do your warm up. Hands up. Ready? Set. Stop. <laughs> that, uh, that was a go. Look at my Ready? Set. I'm going. Go. <laughs> um, let's go for our review first, which is our warm up. It's right here. You have it on your paper. So, first thing it says, a transversal is a line that cuts through two parallel lines. If you look at your paper or you look at my board, what line is the transversal? J, 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 J. So I can just write JK. Yeah, yeah. No, you have to write a line. I have to write a line. So line JK. JK. Very good. That is the transversal. Next, it asks about vertical angles. We know that vertical angles are exactly the same, same which is called corresponding, and they look like they're what? Kissing. kissing. They look like they're kissing. So what are some vertical angles? A and D. A and D. B and C. F and E. I mean, uh, F, F and G. F and G. E and H. H and E. Oh. And E and H. Now, does it matter if I say E and H or H and E? No. No. no it, it doesn't matter. All right, so now we're going to talk about adjacent. Point to the person adjacent to you. Yeah, where else is adjacent? Yeah, the person either right in front of you or right <laughs> next to you. Is diagonal adjacent? No. 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 So what are some adjacent angles on this? A and B. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A, C, B, D, A, C, H. Okay, I got four. I didn't hear the rest. Go. today. So the first thing you need to do if you look at your class or on your sheet, this is telling you about our city project that we are going to plan. This gives you your details about exactly what you need. If you look at your yellow sheet, I point to your little yellow sheet, that is your rubric for today. It's very important that you understand that this is worth 25 points. So if you have 25 points, you get a hundred. That means you would have to follow the checklist exactly correctly. So we're going to do it together at first to make sure that you understand what we're doing. So the first thing it says is what? What is A? What is the first thing we need to do? So if you look at your example and on my board, there's already straight lines. So we're good to go. Um, step two, Chaz. Uh, give your city a name and place it at the top of your city. Yeah. So we're going to come up with a city name. Now you have to come up with a city name that has lots of categories that we could choose from. Shoes. Chips. Ice cream. Ice cream city. Sure. Yeah. 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 All right. We'll do Candyland. So why? Okay. 
All right, what is step two? Now, hold on. Did we follow that step? <coughs> so we're going to go ahead and put a what? Check. A check. You're going to check off as you go. It's kind of like a little to-do list. I have to do this. I've done this. Now, what is step, the next step, tell us to do? Tyshawn. Include the city's population underneath the city name. So can I put it over here? No. no. Over here? No. It has to go no. under. So we're going to go ahead and write population. How many people do you want to live in Candy Lane? 26. 26. Oh, no. 150 people? 150 people. Okay, we'll do 150 people. That is a very small people. That is less than your eighth grade. You said a very small people. A very small amount of people? We should have put 500 so we can get a lot of money. He said, your city must include the following in order to see full credit. Six parallel streets. All right, do we have six parallel streets? Yes. 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 Because they're going in the same direction, but they will never so touch. 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 What is the important key about the six parallel streets? They have, street to, be must be named. They have to be named. So that means you'll have to come up with candy names. <laughs> 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 Here we go, one at a time. Gregory. Starburst. Starburst? <laughs> Starburst? Yeah. Okay, so it's Starburst. Starburst what? Starburst and Lane. Okay. <laughs> there. Snicker Avenue. Snickers Avenue. Okay. Y'all, it must be close to lunch because y'all are probably starving. Snickers Avenue. I got it. All right. So we completely have our six parallel lines and they are all named with very creative names, I would add. Somebody needs to explain to Chaz what a piece of candy is. Um, so what is our next step? Did you put your little check? Yes. All right. What is our next step? Micah. So the first one, as a city planner, you have to think, how do I want the city to look? Do I want to have people's houses right next to a gas station? No. no. So, so let's look at the very first thing. And Leslie, what is the very first thing? Your house and your restaurant are alternating exterior. Okay, so our house and our restaurant have to be alternating exterior. So we are going to have to pick our house first. So you get to go first, which means you probably can't mess it up. And even if you do, we'll be here to fix it. Where would you like your house? Right by the skill. Okay. So we're going to write an H for your house. Good job. There's an H for house. All right. So we had alternate exterior. So this is our transversal. Yes? Yes. These are our parallel lines. Alternate means it's going to be on the... Well, side. Opposite, opposite side, side. and external means it's going to be at the uh -huh, it's going to be at the outside so it's going to be on this side or this side this, this side. side all right so put your restaurant there what's going to be your restaurant uh, red lobster red lobster he decided he's going to steal somebody's name and then get two blue lobster blue lobster <laughs> Thank you. No. all right so this is your intersection and this is your intersection if this is at the bottom right where would you put it? Bottom right, because they're corresponding, which means that they would be exactly the what? Same. So, and if we look, this is vertical to this. G is an alternate interior to B. B, and then B would be vertical with this right here. So you just developed your entire city. Andre, woohoo! Yes? yes? All right. So now I want you to actually follow the rubric, and when you follow the rubric, I'm going to let you braid a city that I did. You can discuss it with your partner. My city is called Perkville. Since my name is Perk. Very original there, huh? Uh, the population is 102. Go over this. this is my house. I chose the park and the school right here. I turned this into a flower shop. What flower is this? Magnolia. Magnolia's name on my dog. That's why I used it, right? No. No. no, no, it's our state one. Wow. What state? Yeah. Yeah. That's our state flower. Uh, this is a little somewhere for a diner. It's not a fan. So my last one said it looked like a fan. It's not a fan. This is a spoon. This is a fork. Uh, this is our church. This is a library. Now, if you notice, I made the bay very far away from my house. So following your rubric, you have exactly what you're looking for and exactly how many points it's worth. Everybody understand that? Mm -hmm. You don't need to write anything. All you need to do is with your partner on your orange sheet, on your orange sheet, give me a grade based off of your rubric. 
How do you think I did? So she gets zero credit for the street. She does. She does at some point because she got parallel and transversal lines. But she don't have like the street names. So what's half of a nine? Half a nine? Nine total points. How many would I earn? Half credit. Alright, so what would be half of nine? Four point five. five. So I, I, all right, let's look at the buildings. The buildings, I had to have my house and a restaurant is alter, alter, alternate exterior. Alternate exterior, did I do that? Yes. yes. I had to have the library and a bowling alley as alternate interior. Got it. Yeah, All right, so what you're going to do now is we've done one together. <laughs> You've actually graded mine. So now what do you think is going to happen? Yeah, right. So if I said, after we do everything today, what at the end of the day should you know? What should you know how to do? Um, chat. You should know how to um, do transversal lines in real life situations. Oh, very good. So y'all agree with that? Yeah. Yes. Is this something in real life that you think you would use? Yes. Yeah, and most of you need to go to college, get an engineer, do something to where you can get a great job, but this is something that you're gonna need for the rest of your life. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is now you can do it by yourself. So on the black, the back of your blue sheet, you're gonna use your yellow rubric, and if you need to look at the cheat sheet before it, but you and your partner are gonna make your own city. You can come up with whatever categories you want. You can come up with shoes, chips. You may not use what? Candy, because then you wouldn't get points for what? For creativity, because that means you would be stealing my idea. You need to follow the rest. Yeah, use your use your orange paper that tells you exactly what you need to do. Thank you. Anybody else need one? Anybody else need a ruler? We're good to go. All right. What's in, how can you easily draw parallel lines? Trace the what? Yeah, trace the rules. If you are trying to make it look exactly perfect, they're all going in the same direction, but you also want to make sure they're the same angle. So you can put your ruler down and you can trace this side and this side. So go ahead. <laughs> there you go. It's okay. And then you put it down here, and then you do it again. To make sure that you hold your what? There you go. Okay. And then you're just gonna do that. Uh, you can fix this little part right here. All right. So let's see. Would you get full credit? What is the first thing on your? Name is Small City. Uh, our population is eighty-eight thousand. All right. What are your parallel line names? Um, City Gear Road. Jimmy James Drive, Forever 21 Lane, Hollister Court, Aeropostale Circle, Dillard's Road. All right, so you named all six of them. They're obviously all stores in the mall. And then what are your transversal names? Sears Highway, Claire's Avenue, Official Boulevard. All right, and where is your alternate exterior, your house and your restaurant? If you had to go over everything today, if somebody walked in that didn't know you and they said, what did you learn in Ms. Perks' math class today? Supplementary angles, tra um, the T word, transversal, transversal. Um, complementary angles. Very good. You also learned how to take math and use it in a what? Real life. In a real life situation, which obviously for y'all is way more important than just here's a test, here's your answer. 